Good morning, everyone. I'm watching OBS right now as I am dropping frames all over the place. I'm not quite sure what's going on. Um, we've had a pretty steady connection for the last long while. And there shouldn't be any frames dropping. I'm going to run a quick speed test and see what's happening. Like, I, I literally have not had any problems at all with my stream for quite a long time, actually, um, surprisingly. Well, we've dropped 26% of our... I, I will not stream when the stream is this bad. Oh, we're now sending out zero. No, according to this, I am getting exactly what I should be getting based on everything else. I don't know why I'm dropping frames. Quite literally. <laughs> I have no idea. One third of our frames have been dropped so far. Uh, it looks like it is evening out now. It's all green. It's been green for the last couple of minutes. So, uh, just checking to see if there are any outages in the area, and there are not. It's still doing some weird stuff, but we'll keep going. Uh, if not, then I can always send you guys back to Rilomo, and you can watch him play Stellaris. He was the one that was playing a moment ago. Now, just before the stream started, I noticed that up top here on top of one of the houses, it's a very odd place to be, um, was the trader. So I am going to go up and visit him in hopes, big hopes, that he has some stuff that I want. Whoops. How many arrows do I have? I have some more in the other one. Yeah, I actually did an experiment. And I killed off every single iron golem in here. And can you tell how well that worked? Do they care? No, they do not. He's on top of one of these houses, like literally on the top of. Let's go take a look. Guys, are we having lag issues as well? Uh, there he is. I tried to capture his llamas. The, like, the reason I have to get rid of these iron golems is because they lag me. Like, badly. There you are. Hello. Oh, no, still too far away. All right. Seriously, I went to all that trouble to come up to you and you decide the ground is a better place. Stop, I'm trading with you. Thank you. And you have nothing I want. Really? I really went to all that trouble for nothing. Well, I will take your black... Oops. I didn't think this through properly because now I have no space in my inventory. <laughs> wow. How many can I get? Aha. And a slime ball, I guess. Huh. And I'm going to drop my dirt. Excuse me, guys. Because uh, I literally don't have any room. I was supposed to bring another one of these, and I didn't. All right. We'll put that down. We'll go back. These guys are all gathering here. I am going to be looking for the librarians and the cartographers, both of those, and I'm going to do some paper trades and some of the other trades. I've also set up, this is what I said I would do last night, there are my boxes, this area is going to be gardened, I have space over there and there, and I got all the stuff ready for the houses so they're all ready to go, hopefully I did math this time correctly. 
and I have them all done. There's a garden that's supposed to go here. I wanted a fountain there, but I don't think I can pull it off very well. I really don't. Okay, so I wanted a shulker box. I'm gonna put that there right now. And I'm gonna put this in here. And then I'm gonna put this in here because it goes downstairs. And then in here, I'm gonna put all of that and all of that. I'm gonna keep those and I'm gonna put uh, this in there. Four emeralds for a slime ball is astronomically expensive unless you are in desperate, desperate need of a sticky piston. I am not because I have found enough temples that I am able to go and use the temples instead. When I take the, um, the traps out of them, they're sticky pistons. I don't think he resets. Like, I think he stays this way forever. Yeah. The green dye is kind of nice, but again, not necessary. I also killed all the ones that are inside, and that didn't seem to matter either. Oh, they're done their meeting. Bye, everybody. So, let us get ourselves set up for a little trading. I put all the extra paper in here. Let's put all our tools we are not going to need in there, which will create almost the space that we need. Extra paper. Paper. Pick you up. Grab you and you. And then... The only thing is they won't trade too far into the evening, so we do have to be careful with that. Who are you? Toolsmith. Don't care. I just want to get you back in your house. Can you do that for me? There you go. And... Oh, shit. We're running. There he is. I have to identify which one he is. Are you coming? I hit you. They should stay aggro. It is kind of frustrating. And I'm going to do something... I didn't think I would ever do. He's dead. Let's go. Hello, good morning. I did something really bad. I killed the traitor. So now I have two llamas. I don't know if they'll fit. Oh, they do fit the fence. Awesome. But good morning, good morning. I started a little later today. I had a bit of technical issues um, on here. I was dropping frames. Lots and lots of frames. So we have now two of these ones and hopefully there isn't too big of a penalty that I get for killing the traitor. I hope. I really hope. Pop. I'm just going to keep them in here for now. Mm. 
I can tame them first. There we go. We got hearts. No. Silly horses. Most of the horses that are out here are not tamed. Actually, most of the horses in the barn are also not tamed. All right. You're good. Hi, guys. Most of the horses... Let's just go with most of them or not. You went out, got up. Oh, you woke up early? I envy people who got up, get up early. I never seem to get up early. Um, and you bought some and had an amazing breakfast. Aw. You can get up early, buy some food, and make me an amazing breakfast. That would be nice. Although I'm a strangely picky eater because I only eat eggs in the morning. <laughs> like every day I have exactly the same breakfast. Like clockwork. It's a little scary. Well, I guess it's not that scary, but yeah. I have literally have eggs every morning. And sometimes at lunch. Oh, egg, sausage, and toast. I could have had toast, but I didn't really feel toast like this morning. I'll probably have toast this afternoon after the stream. And I don't like sausage. I know it sounds weird, but I am not a fan of sausage. I'd rather have more eggs. I do like bacon on occasion, but I don't cook it. I don't actually cook any pork products at all. Like, at all at all. I have made bacon. I cooked it. And every time I do, it is a complete completely radically different experience when I do it. So that's why I don't do sausages because I don't know if they're done. Bacon, I know it's done because it's black <laughs> and it doesn't do anything else. It's like crunchy underhand. Like, yeah, I love poutine. That I, I love, love poutine. Everywhere here serves poutine. Our McDonald's has poutine. Tim Hortons has poutine. Like every fast food restaurant has poutine. If, if there's somewhere you can have poutine, they have it. And they're all just a little bit different from each other. I know one of these guys hates me. I just don't know which one it is. So I may get randomly killed. Just so you know. A uh, leather worker. I will pass. Butcher, I will pass. Oh, I picked up something. And I think it was just a block of dirt. Where are... Those are leather workers. That's the butcher, fisherman, Fletcher. Oh! I also live in Toronto. We are neighbors. Mason. Fisherman, I need this guy. Oh, they're really unhappy with me. <laughs> I am sorry. I, I hurt you. But I had to. I should eat something. Yes, all the pubs have poutine. Isn't that amazing? I love that. And it's it's like good poutine. I'm not a fan of the poutine that they make and it's things like that. Oh no, I'm in Ontario. I'm actually, technically I'm not in Toronto, I'm in the GTA. I'm on the Quebec side of the GTA. <laughs> or I guess, I'm an Easterner of the GTA. Seeing as those of us who are around Toronto understand that the GTA is actually a horseshoe. So, all right, I am going to trade a, I am, uh, let me go in here, because, is it in here? Nope, let's try again. One of these two have, um, do you have it? You have it. All right, let's put those in there. Take those two out. Pick that back up, because I'll probably forget. We heard that. Oh, you're the wrong person. 
Why do I have the coal in here with you if you don't trade coal? All right, you do. Come back here. Oh, I saw that. You popped. You did something. All right, now what? <gasps> You'll give me bells! But that's kind of expensive for bells. Um, excuse me? You're right up in my face. That's kind of rude. Get downtown. I have a cousin who lives downtown, and it is kind of brutal. Um, she likes it. She was out in Mississauga to start with. So for her, moving downtown and being able to go out to the clubs and do all that type of stuff, she loved it. Me, I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm good. I don't need the clubs. I am very content without them. But she loves to party, and I'm like... I, I don't mind the partying. I mind the hearing on the news the next day about how this person was shot or this person was stabbed or something bad happened at the club. And I'm like, are you okay? She also works downtown, so. Oh, no, I don't know if she even knows what sleeping in is. Like, at all. She is scary active. Scary, scary active. But that's her choice. Where are you guys going? I'm not done with you yet. All right. I need... How many of those do I have to buy? I don't want to buy that many. This is so expensive. I literally don't have space for it all. And I only got out halfway. Hi, you. Oh, the price has gone down. Yay, you don't hate me anymore. That's exciting. Um, you didn't reset yet. Yes, she works there. She parties there. She lives there. Everything is perfect. I... Yes, they were mad at me because, well, I killed the trader, I killed a ton of villagers, and I completely emptied the village of all the iron golems, as you can definitely tell, because they're all back again, with a vengeance. Um, and so as a result, they raised their prices. And now that I've traded with them, they're happier with me, so they are... I don't have any iron with me, I'm sorry. Uh, so they lower their prices when they're happy. All right, we'll take some pants. I just need to get you up to your next trade. You're costing me too much for stuff I don't want. I'm trying to actually build up my emerald collection, and these guys are, like, draining it. But I wanted to show you guys that they will reset their trades. Um, you're not the one I was working with. Which one of you was I working with? Come back here. Not you. How about you? Ooh, one emerald for chainmail. I will do that because I really like the chainmail leggings. I think they look awesome. I need you to reset your trades, please. Okay, if we're going to go buy gear, we might as well just get all of it. This is a waste of time, though. Let me put them down. I need another shulker box. <laughs> I can't carry this many. Oh, I heard that. I don't know if you guys heard that, but he just reset his trades. And I have no coal on me. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, so let's open this up. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. That's full. Is it full? I think it's full. Nope, it's not full. So you'll hear them when they change their trades. You'll hear them do this little metal noise, and it means they've reset. And they will reset twice a day. So you just have to be kind of patient and wait them out. 
There, another one did them. I killed all the iron golems because, if you guys will be patient, look at this. Every one of these was gone. All of them. There were none here. None. You saw that, right? All of those iron golems? And I had already, I killed every single one in the village. I'm gonna do it again today. I'm gonna kill literally every iron golem in this village, and then we'll go off and do something, and when we come back, I can guarantee you there'll be too many iron golems again. I don't know how fast they spawn. I wish I knew, because I can't seem to keep them under control. They're even spawning, where are they? Inside the houses. Like they're inside, which is a pain. Of course, I can't find, there is one. They're inside the houses, so I can't even, eh, move, move, move. I can't even really kill them easily because if I kill them, there's a chance I could kill the villager that's in here. And I don't want to do that. So, ugh. Nope, that would be manipulating the actual game and I can't do that because this is set for 100% vanilla. All right, are you guys all, oh, I was getting coal. You're happy to trade for me, yay. Now, how much you get also for their abilities changes. Like he's an apprentice. And so this has to fill all the way up to get to the next level to unlock the next ones. So we keep going. And eventually it will lock again. But we're not getting very much. That white portion is if we do the trade, how far it'll go. If we had iron, which I didn't think to bring, then it would be a bigger space. All right, and with that, he is locked up again. What do the max trader sell? You mean the, the traveling one? If you mean the traveling one, he is random. I just bought a whole bunch of black ink from him. Uh, I'm gonna go with this. You can see the line is bigger on him because it is, he's trying to get up to apprentice. And now we get our pretty colors and seriously, all you did was lower your price. Now we unlock some other stuff. There we go. So we can get chainmail boots. Whoops, that's coal. No, I want the chainmail ones. Thank you. And I want the chainmail pants. Thank you. And now I'm officially out of space. They've all gone to their midday meeting. Oh, um, I don't know. Like, I actually don't know what causes it to run out. Like, I literally have not even the beginning of a clue. All right, you can, you can go, guy. Thanks for being here. You have a meeting to go to. Uh, can I go to? I would like out. Thank you. So, middle of the day, they will all come and hang out by the bell. This is where they hang out. And most of them will. Um, some of them just don't come out. And I think this is when they discuss iron golems. This is when they gossip. And I think that's when we start spawning iron golems. But... Based on that theory, it doesn't work. Because when I was building one of these houses, I think it was the big house, um, it was, we had an iron golem spawn out there. And there was really no reason for that. So it's kind of strange. 
but we won't kill them all now. I just wanted to get some trading done to show what the trading looks like. Um, I do wish I had put some of these people in other places because the ones I want to work with are completely locked up. In here are the cartography tables, so you trade paper for maps. Like, paper is the best trade you can do. And the librarians get you books. So I have four of every type of profession. Who are you? You are a mason. Why are you in this house if you were a mason? You have your own house. But... This is just out of control. I made sure I had a three wide path for them to go down and a minimum of three wide between every building so that they could fit and go everywhere. And now they all leave because it's evening. They gotta go reset their trades and then you can do a last little bit of trading really quick before they go to bed. Uh, in the wiki, you can actually find the schedule. It'll tell you where they'll be, when they'll be, all that type of stuff. So, do I have a chest on me? I probably don't. Because that would be smart, and we're not doing smart right now. But I do want to get to building. Um, I did want to move the doghouse, and I still don't know what I want it to look like. So I'm a little stuck there. Until I actually know what it's going to look like in my mind, I can't build it. But I do know that I have an extra chest. Perfect. How's... How's the balding? You mean the building? I'm not quite sure where you're going. Yeah, it was like, I don't have a problem with balding. Thank you, though. <laughs> Quite the opposite. <laughs> I nearly need to, like, shave my legs before the pool opens again. I live in a condo where we have a pool, but it's an outdoor pool. A barely heated outdoor pool, I must say. Okay, Mr. Toolsmith. I don't know why they get caught on these corners, but it is so frustrating. Come on. You're supposed to move towards me. Come on. Okay. The iron golem's going to move you. At least somebody did. Uh, weep my way through here. I may have to move that bell. Because that is annoying. Uh, paper. I have too much paper on me. Uh, the buildings uh, are ready to go. The new ones. Okay, we have too much paper. We can live with that. That's okay. I'm taking the emeralds back with me. Oh, I just thought of it. I need emeralds, or I need iron, and there's walking iron right there. At least two from each one. Let me through. Thank you. Okay, so uh, what I did was I went around and figured out where each building was going to go. And I created a new little path. So over here is going to be small house one. And there's the content of small house one. Over here is going to be, and this is where I made a little pathway that comes out to it. This is small house eight. On this side is going to be a garden. So I actually put some stuff in here to make a garden. You can get two to three. Um, again, if you use like looting and something like that, it will like give you more, obviously, because like 
looting increases the chances of getting more. Um, I use my bows instead of my sword. Uh, my sword has nothing. This one has nothing on it. The one I was using was a looting three sword, but they really chew through that pretty quick. Building a cartography place. That's going to go here. Yeah, it, it chewed through my sword, and I'd already leveled up that sword so many times that I couldn't actually repair it. So I think what I did, it might be still sitting in there, but it, it's set to have the enchantment stripped off of it so that I can get the levels out of it, and then I can re-enchant it again at another time. So this, this is going to be an interesting build. This is going to be a creative build for me in the sense of I have to design it. I took down the bridge that went here. I have to put a new bridge in, but I have to put something to make that an entrance. And it was suggested to me that I build a snowman. And I commented the fact that I already have a snowman because I do already have a snowman. But I could put the bottom half of a snowman here and another ball and another ball on here and turn this entranceway into an actual snowman and then have the bridge come across. And all of it will be in dire right now because we do have stairs and slabs in polished diorite. So I couldn't have done that before, but I can now. But that's, that's gonna be a, I would like to do. It's not a guarantee that I can do. The other thing I need to do though, is I need to get the rest of the pillars on. I'm missing a few, uh, pillars and they are kind of bugging me that they're missing like rare um over here this entire structure doesn't have any support now i don't know if i will put one in the corner here i may just put one right in the center and put it straight down so it supports this whole one because it is attached to here and to there so it might get a center just a central support um, part of it is in the wall being held up by the dirt so it doesn't need it. I mean, I can put a support on there, but it would be a single support. And I don't know how that would look. So that's that one module that I have to get done. And yes, I want to make a, a... It's very likely that it'll be a snowman. I am not saying it's 100%. It is just very likely. I discovered this is a cheaty way in <laughs> because I actually had the trader up here. I was like, what is he doing up here? <laughs> I don't understand. So, yeah. Now I have things like that one that I have to support. And that is a very long way down. And I don't actually know where it goes or what it's going to drop on. I didn't think about that very well. Like I've got that one, this one, I've got these two. They all need support. That whole platform up there needs supports. I mean, I have one here. But I need the second one, and that's going to drop all the way down here, and it's going to drop into my floor. So it's going to mess up the pattern on here. I saw that. Was there an Enderman? That's a weird place to take a block out of. I don't know if it's worth doing them on like this corner because this corner will literally be like the little thing around it here and the little thing around it here and a, a tiny little block in the middle. But I might just for consistency of everything else. And then I don't have any support for the bridge. I can jump down now. And again, if I do one here, I'll have to do one here as well. It also messes up my lighting because this line comes down here. This is the center of the post. 
So I lose that torch. And that torch is part of my five by five. I also lose this one because this is where the center of the post goes and then around it is where those stairs are. So that one gets lost. So I will lose a good chunk of lighting from there. So I'll have to rethink how I do lighting. So I'm thinking I'm not gonna do that one. Um, what happens when you don't put support? Nothing, <laughs> absolutely nothing. It is completely visual. It is, that's literally the only reason for it, is for it looks proper to have support. Most buildings would not be able to stand out on their own. And what I did with these ones is I didn't want to build the platform around it, like the other part of it. So what I'm actually thinking of doing is I am going to... I only need one. I'm going to sink it into here to make it look like it actually goes into the ground. This one's going to be a little more difficult because you can see. So I'll take all of those out and that'll come all the way down and it'll look like it is braced right into the foundation of the ground. And that way I don't have to do the footer for it. I'm just trying to think. I could probably pull off the footer on this one because I don't have my tools on me. Uh, tool, tool. I can do a footer on this one. I'll have to check on that one. To do a footer on this one, I'm going to have to make this too wide which shouldn't matter. Now I'm wishing I brought the actual stuff with me so I could have it done. This is a huge chunk of wall that's gonna be gone. We will see how this building goes as long as, because I don't actually know what the building looks like. And you are the torch, which means you go here. So we've got to keep our five by five. That's one, two, three, four. Oh, is it five by five? I think it's kind of just random up here. Hi, kitty. Cat staring at me like, what are you doing? I am digging dirt. Thank you for asking. If that comes down. Mm, we have to take those ones out. I didn't want to, but we're going to have to. And then I'm going to have to check to see how it affects over there. And take this out. Yeah, I see you, kitty. It's okay. See, so I do have, inside of here, I actually have a core that comes down. So, yeah, it, it needs to look kind of real-ish. Heavy on the ish. Which reminds me, I was reading, no, I wasn't reading. I was reading a book in which the main character's mother was a liter, um, a, I was going to say a literary, but it, that's not the right word. She was a literature professor at a university. And so she named her child Ishmael Horatio. And I thought, that is hilarious. Hi, puppy. Um, so after, like, literature characters, which is cute. This one is not going to go any further than that extra one. This one's not getting any support at all. Technically, this should have one. Boop. Did it again. As long as it comes 
straight down. Where is my box? It's right over there. Instead of planning it, why don't we do this? Um, what tips you can get when you do your inventory? It depends on what you're doing. I always carry a sword. I always carry a pick. And I always carry a bow. Um, I have shulker boxes now. But before I had shulker boxes, I took an ender chest with me always. Always, always, always. Um, the theory is if uh, something happens to you when you are out and you die and all your stuff that you need is inside of your shulker box or inside of, well, not your shulker box, but inside of your ender chest, then it's not lost because it's still in your ender chest. Because your inventory, again, is shared across all of your ender chests. What are you doing, cat? And so when I go adventuring, I put shulker boxes inside of an ender chest. And then I travel. Um, inside the house, the next time we're back there, I can show you what I actually have in there. Like I, I have an actual inventory. Don't need this for when I travel. Like I have specific things that I take with me. We don't need that. Take a few more. All right. So yeah, I have... Um, if you fall into lava, all this will be gone. And all your gear. Because you die. And the lava will burn it up just as much as if you throw it in there. Um, if you go exploring really, really far and forget to turn on F3, you're not going to know where you died. So the chances of finding your stuff again, pretty slim. It won't despawn until you load that chunk again. When that chunk is loaded, that is when it'll start the despawning process. Kitty, really? Kitty! <sighs> This cat there. And then I need to put that back. Hey, Peppers. So I put it in my ender chest, and that way I don't care where I've died because, like, I can die, I can take risks, I can do all of that because it doesn't matter. All of my stuff is still safe. When you die, you get home. Everything that you had with you, other than the bare minimum that was on your body, is now sitting in your ender chest. You could, you've got it. Like, it doesn't matter. And once you have shulker boxes, you can put your shulker boxes inside of your ender chest. And that means you've now increased the capacity to do it. So, yeah, no, I don't. There's no mod, so there's no magical chess. <laughs> it's just trial and error and having learned my mistakes, um, of which there were a lot of them. I went into the end with a full set of diamond gear and promptly fell off. Hello, welcome, welcome, and lost all of my diamond gear. <laughs> and my bow. Oh, I don't have an ender chest on me because I'm on my base. Um, a lot of the places I go now have ender chests in them. So as long as I'm here, I don't need it. This is home. I am nice and safe. But once I leave and go onto the other side of that fence, no, I need my ender chest. And my ender chest is even partially pre-packed for going on an adventure. I also carry a bed with me always, as you can see on my hot bar, one bed, even when I'm running around my own base. Now the catch is if I'm on my own base and I do something silly and I die, I'm going back to spawn. Spawn is that way, a long, long way that way. 
we actually spent an entire episode of the stream just building something at spawn because I had gone back to spawn so many times there were no resources there. Okay, so this is not turning out so well. Get out of there. Get out of there. Gonna get this. Eh, it didn't turn. Kitty! Do you see that? The cat will push you off. Cats are rude. Yes, you. You are rude. Yesterday, I was being attacked by phantoms, and the cat was sitting on the bed going, Oh, look, phantoms. And it's like, no, you're supposed to protect me from them. You're not supposed to be staring at them and admiring them. Get over here and hiss at them. The cat's like, you should have slept. There, so now it's got something holding it up. Makes me feel better. Yeah, not really. I don't actually care. But it seems to bug people, so I feel like I need to do it. What's holding up your building? Air. Air and a lack of gravity. Two very important Minecraft attributes. And... And I have weird holes like this that I don't know what to do with. Because this is a hallway. And a hallway is a set width. It's always five. So this would make seven. Which makes it a room, so we can't do it. Yeah, cats. Oh, they drive me nuts. Excuse me, kitty. Coming down here. Just checking. Yeah. Ow! <laughs> that hurt. That's another hallway. So let's put one here. And this is what I was saying about it's it's so short it's going to it's going to be silly. Use me kitty. I don't even know if I can put the ones on the top without digging a hole to do it. Can I do this? Aha. Yeah. See how silly that looks? <laughs> and if I do one there, I have to do one on this side. And it's like, really? I guess we have to, now that we've done it. And it looks ridiculous. And I missed the same way again. Fine, sit there. See if I care. But I have been waiting for these stairs to come out forever. I have wanted these. I love diorite. When they brought out diorite, I just went absolutely crazy for them. And I was like, I just got to build everything with them. I need to move that one if I'm going to put this one in there. And then if I can do this one. Nope. If I can do... Okay, let's start with the right block. This one. Okay, we're having a few technical difficulties here. Uh, kitty! <laughs> No, nope. I am getting this too much on an angle, and I don't know how I'm going to do this. You know what? We're going to do this. Boom. Fixed. All of these walls, by the way, is I coated them in dirt. These used to be rolling hills and mountains and giant hole things and stuff, and I just carved them and then did a wall of dirt around them. Just so they would look nice. Because I hate the look of just stone and rock sitting out there. There we go. And I don't think there's anything more. 
no. So big open space. No idea what I'm like there. How long? Um, I don't know. <laughs> um, over several streams, I would say I did a lot of flattening and filling in. Uh, a lot of it I do off stream because it's kind of boring to see me do this. Like this was not exactly a perfectly even terrace on here like I have now. Um, it had ones that were wider, some had deeper drops. And so I had to go through and fill in some spots and, you know, carve out others and figure out where the angles are so it goes straight down there. And then this one comes straight down there. And then this one has to come straight down there. And I got to tell you, that zigzag was not fun to do. And then this sort of does something weird because I have a pathway here and this actually was a cliff face. So I was kind of stuck on that one. These wolves are all natural spawns. They just spawn randomly in here. Um, when I was building this, like getting it set up, they were a colossal pain um, because they'd come and stare at me while I was building. And it was like they wanted to participate. And I'm like, yeah, no, I don't have anything for you to do. Thanks, though. But they did keep the skeletons away. They did not keep other things away that I would have liked them to. Um, yeah, that's too far. I'll do this one. Eh, that hurt. Oh, do we need something on there? Um, <laughs> see that flying cat? Well, I don't know if it's like dedication. It's just what you got to do. And I'm not done over here. As This is the natural landscape of here, but it used to come a lot farther. Uh, one of the things that I did was I extended the river. Let's run up here. All of this is still kind of a mess. And what I have done is there were a series of uh, little bits of river and I went through and I cut it so that it actually went all the way around. I don't know if I can get on this ledge. I'm supposed to be able to. There we go. So yes, I made this all link up. And I did it while watching... Um, oh, I can't remember what the show is called, but it's like Benchley or Bleachley or whatever it is. But it was a whole series on the BBC, and I watched that. So every time I come here, I remember that show. Anyways, as you can see, it's not very well lit up. You coming up? Good luck. There is only one staircase to get up here, and it's right here. <laughs> That's it. And it doesn't even go very far. So that was my staircase up. So I have built this. As you can see, that there are... Oh, no. That wolf just dropped to his death. Yeah, as you can see, this is kind of a mess. Um, I'm not even going to go down there to get that because it's like impossible to get back up here. I am trying to make like a little area to walk along here. And then I'm looking at, I'm thinking right now of like, I've, I've started like a little terrace here that comes down. And then I want to think, I'm thinking I'm going to shear it right off so that it becomes wider to start with, especially around this corner, because this corner literally came down to almost a V and right back up. So I need to make space in there so that a boat can go through. Oh, I added this water. This is water height for everything in this world. That is the actual height for water. And you can see the grass down there where I dug it, but I hadn't put the water in yet. You can see there's a square over there. That's a mistake. I'll have to fix that. And over here, there is no protection at all. 
which is why I don't kind of hang out here very often because it's not safe. Let's put down our bed. Let's sleep. Kitty will jump up. Hello, kitty. We'll get up. Meow. Did you give me anything? No? All right, get off my bed. Now I technically have no bed. It's going to say your bed was um, blocked or obstructed, which is exactly the same word. Um, and it will send me back to spawn if I die. But always carries a bed. This will be my giant wall that I am making. It runs along this line. And then under here, I'm going to make a wall of fences to cut this off because that is my border. This is not my land. This is not where I'm building. In my area, I have chopped down all of these trees. Like there were trees like this everywhere. Uh, I flattened the mountains everywhere here. I have no actual good way back up. <laughs> Once this area is safe, I think what I will do is, oh no, no, don't do it. Don't do it. He did it. Did you drop ink? You did. All right. Well, then we'll go back and we'll pick up the drop stuff over here. I need ink and I am having trouble getting um, squid to spawn. Now they will spawn. You can see their fish that spawned here. They don't spawn, it seems, anywhere that is not a river. So F3, where are we? Oh, I'm in river. Hence, we have fish. Unless it recodes it as river, that would be amazing. Okay, so let's go back. Yeah, kitty. Not all of this was river. So if it says it, like tells you it's all river, that would be amazing. It means when I did the save and the upgrade, oh, what was that? Well, something blinked there. I don't know what it was. Oh, see here is Taiga. I don't know if you can see that or not, but um, one, two, three, four, five from the bottom of the second chunk. It says taiga. So this is taiga biome. This is not river. So in this space here will not spawn fish or anything like that because they're not part of it. The fish, once they've spawned though, will go wherever there's water. So we're back into river. So there was a space in there where it was connected. That was a body of water. This was a body of water. And this is more ink. Hello, fishy. And um, here we go. We're back to Taiga again. So this area had to break. So there was a big piece there, a little piece here, and then another chunk over here. Let me get out of the river because it takes too long to swim. Um, I broke this piece in here because that was not a uh, river either. So we did that one stream and just ripped it apart. These actually were genuine mountains. Like how this is, they were that kind of high and I just brought them down to this level. I picked